Hello and welcome to Thread Sketching in Action number 47. I'm Deborah Wursu of DebraWursu.com. Over recent weeks we've seen how simple outline thread sketches with minimal detail can be very effective. And for me they make a pleasant change from all the heavy thread sketching that I do. That heavy detailed stitching is quite slow and intricate whereas outline drawings can be worked in a fraction of the time. During one of my trips to Taiwan, I did a quick pen sketch one day of the Taipei 101 building, which obviously is in Taipei, the capital of Taiwan. I was keen to do another architecture thread sketch, and this seemed perfect when I came across it in my sketchbook. As you can see, I roughly painted areas of the background fabric first, using very minimal marked guides as to where to put the different colours. Then I began working the design. I've used black thread throughout, which is unusual for me, as black can often be too dominant. But with the bright sky background, I felt it was the right choice in this instance. In order to keep this design simple, there was a lot of stopping and cutting threads involved. Fortunately, the machine I'm using now has an automatic thread cutter, which makes the whole process so much quicker. But don't worry if you don't have automatic thread cutting on your machine. I managed without it for years. It just means that creating your piece will take a little bit longer. While I was working the tree, I considered adding some foliage to the branches. It was winter time when I drew the initial sketch, so there were no leaves, but I wondered still if I should use artistic license and add them to my design. In the end, I decided not to, as I felt it would detract from the main feature of the design, which is the building. The finished picture has a look about it of a pen and watercolour wash on paper, yet it's on fabric, meaning that sketches like this can be added to any of your stitched artwork. Thanks for watching and I look forward to your company again next week. Please visit my website at deborahwursu.com for more tips, tutorials, patterns and videos.